Jean Shen. I'm an artist based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm really interested in working site specifically because it's a place to start. The Bay Area is a very big tech community. We've all been transformed because of the innovations. But there seems to be a paradox between the notion of making our lives better, but in fact, technology is actually making our environment worse. So we want to explore that space between those two conversations. You know, our technology is becoming obsolete the minute they're invented, and this is just unsustainable. When you see so much of this useless technology, it's distressing, it's haunting. I'm always gravitating toward things that are left over or discarded, or it's been devalued by people, and that becomes sort of a trigger for me. So part of the project was that we invited the public to donate their old cell phones, cables, hardware devices. There's this kind of invitation and this material exchange with the public at large or a specific community. So when you walk into the exhibition pause, you'll sort of encounter these three massive rock formations and they look like geological, familiar, organic forms, but in fact they're made and generated by old cell phones. And they're surrounded by these cables that feel like uh, waves and oceans that seem to echo and ripple into our space. And so the viewer is confronted by the spilling of technology and e-waste as you walk into the gallery. I have these e-bundles, which are positioned throughout the edges of this installation, so the visitors are invited to sit, to stay in the gallery, to linger. And for me, it's a reset while we're sitting there to try to unplug and disconnect and relate to real time and space. I was very inspired by wanting to recreate a Chinese scholar's rock. So many of the scholars would go into these meditative retreats and have these scholar rocks. You know, these kind of ideals of retreat happened around our relationship with rock. Another aspect of the influence of the Asian Art Museum is thinking about the influence of Zen gardens, in particular places where you could have this beautiful vista of rocks the kind of imagined space that we project onto nature, but it's the sense of longing and um, being mindful and capturing our attention. So while we have a desire that we often need to retreat to this kind of refuge, our phones are actually not allowing us to do that. In fact, they are incredible distractions to our ability to get anything done. We can't really blame the phone. It's really just the seduction to all the possibilities of the phone. The project allows us to think what are the benefits of this amazing tool that's in our hands, but also what has it robbed us of? How can we reclaim our attention and our focus and our ability to connect with people in real time and space?